The price of hot hatches has been going up in recent years. Some of the latest, like the Golf GTI, starting from over $41,000 before on roads. And here are three very different takes on the hot hatch formula, costing between $33,500 and $37,000 drive away. First up is Hyundai's Veloster SR Turbo. It's a spicy take on the funky three-door that's a coupe on one side and a practical hatch on the other. The newest member of this trio is this car, the Kia Proceed GT. It's the company's first hot hatch. It shares the drivetrain with the Hyundai Veloster, but ditches the rear door and gets sticky Michelin tyres. The Renault Megane is the oldest car here, but the RS265 Sport Limited Edition is by far the fastest, and it also brings a new entry-level price to the hot hatch segment. So guys, let's get on the road and put them to the test. The little 1.6 litre turbo is quite a peppy thing. It's not underpowered in any way, but it certainly could sound a little bit nicer. One of the things I'm really fond of in this Kia is the way it rides. It has a nice firm edge to it, but it never sort of fumbles over bumps or feels uncomfortable, which is, you know, exactly how a hot hatch or warmish hatch should be. That sporty suspension setup also means that it takes corners quite flat. You can really push it hard into a corner and it'll just respond how you want it to with nice balance. And the steering responds brilliantly. There's no tricky mechanical diff at the front end here, but it does get its power down quite nicely. No shortage of low down punch. It's got a very nice and very easy to use transmission. It just slides into place. But where it does suffer is if you really push it hard into the corners, these cheaper hand cooks aren't quite up to scratch. And Kia has a much better engine note and can't compare to the growly engine note of the Megane 265 RS. I think the Megane's got the best engine note of this trio for sure. It's got a real nice crackle to it. The main factor that sets the Renault apart from the other two cars is the amount of grip on offer. It's got such a competent chassis and such high quality tyres that it never seems to run out of grip and I think that's the real point. The Renault misses out on some kit when you compare it to something like the Veloster that's got absolutely everything but I think really the essence of a hot hatch is not necessarily a car that does absolutely everything. It's a really great car to drive that's got supreme balance, plenty of grip, and is really, really capable on the twisty roads. So boys, we've driven all three. What do we think? Well, I tell you what, the practical side in me, being a family man, I would have to go with the Veloster SR Turbo because it's got three doors and it's the only model here that you can get an automatic transmission in. Now, what if you're not being practical? Well, then that's Take an that easy choice, yep. Trent. I'm going straight with the RS Megane because it is just so quick. All right, Trent, what about you? What would you pick out of these Similar three? issue for me, mate. I'm, I'm sort of tossing up between the Kia and the Renault, which I've really loved driving. But I think the fact that the Kia represents such good value for money, and it's such a great car, yeah. I'd have to go with the Proceed cheap. GT. It is really, cheap. really yeah, cheap, absolutely. It's got more of that sort of European chicness, I think, to it. I Would love you those uh, LEDs. I think the Kia is the buy of these three because it's livable, it's comfortable, but it's still quick and still copes with corners absolutely amazingly. Okay. Soft touch plastics across the dash. No screen. I'm not fussed with the screen really. It's got a reversing camera in the rear view mirror. That's enough for me. I'd have to uh, fight you for the keys for the Kia then, I guess. <laughs>